What's up, guys? Today I have an NU match. This one is against Daryl HC787. Uh, and looking at his team, Magmortar is always a problem because it's just Magmortar. It's just so annoying. Uh, Absol might be a bit of an issue, but otherwise, you know, Basculin, I've got Alomomola to resist, like, you know, his two stab attacks that most carry. And. Otherwise, I mean, Sock is Scarf, so he outspeeds everything on his team unless he has a Scarf Basculin for some reason, which would not make any sense. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to need to play Matang just to get up Stealth Rocks because Mega Mortar is the biggest worry, and it also hits, uh, you know, Noctowl super effectively as well. He's going to switch right to Mega Mortar, and uh, that's a pretty good play because, uh, you know, I'm most likely going to go for Stealth Rocks. I almost actually went for Earthquake, though, because it's the strongest move because I have Ice Punch and Meteor Mash also. Um... I did used to run a like rest talking set. I still have it, but this is more of like, basically just like a lead metagross kind of thing. But it's Matang. Um, so yeah, I almost went for the earthquake, and I was like, damn, that would have been nice. I don't know if it would have killed because Matang's attack is only like seventy five, and it's not stab, and I have no investment because I'm a full physical wall. But eh, whatever. I go to camera up here because my special wall, which is my uh, dust skull, um, yeah, he's gonna get like. To it KO'd by Fire Blast easily. But he goes for Flamethrower on my camera, which doesn't do a whole lot. I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Rock, which uh, is pretty nice. Uh, if I ever do use it in RU, it's it's good against, you know, like Moltres and Charizard and stuff like that. Um, Archaeops and, and, and Aerodactyl too. And it's like, HP Grass, other than Quagsire, doesn't really matter because... Um, Earth Power is almost as strong. It's like 135 versus 140 if it's just, you know, flat out super effective. And, uh, you know, Rock also hits Altaria, which is annoying because, you know, it means ground resists fire. Whatever. Um, so I'll go to my Alomomola on his uh, Basculin switch. And uh, I'm just going to go with Scald as he switches to Weezing. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to switch out here figuring, you know, he's going to Thunderbolt me. But he actually goes for the Toxic, which I don't really see ever on Weezing because Will-O-Wisp is much better. But, uh, you know, that's fine. I'm going to go with the Confuse right here, because I know Nightshade plus Burn probably won't kill. So, uh, yeah, just go for the Confuse right. And, unfortunately, he goes into Basculin and lives on just a little bit of HP. And, um, yeah, if I had just Nightshaded, he would have been dead. But I'm going to switch out to my Lumamola, because it walls Basculin, you know, forever. Because it's just such an annoying Pokemon. Um, it really is. It's just so strong. Like... Yeah. Even even if you have an electric, like, type Pokemon with, like, Specs or something, like, you know, it, you just need, like, a grass or ground type, and Alomomola is fine. It, it's just so ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I go for the Protect here. As he goes for the Destiny Bond, I was thinking he'd go for Toxic, and then I'd switch out when he Toxics again. But, yeah, no, he just goes for Destiny Bond, thinking I'll kill him. But, uh, yeah, no. Now, here, I'm going to go for the Wish, thinking he'll go for the Destiny Bond again. But he goes for Toxic instead, and he gets a coup stat berry, and I'm like, okay. But uh, yeah, I don't mind being Toxic, it's not a big deal. I mean, I do have Regenerator and, you know, Wish and stuff, so it's, it's not really that big. And, I mean, his Basculin's already dead, so I don't really need this. I mean, Absol, yeah, but, eh, whatever. I'm going to go to my camera up, because I know, you know, Sludge Bomb, Fire Blast, Thunderbolt, neither of them do very much damage. He goes for Venoshock, which doesn't do anything, because I'm not poisoned. It's only, I think, base 65? If you're not poisoned and doubles, if you are, which makes sense with toxic, but still, it's a dumb move. I would rather just run Will O Wisp and Sludge Bomb. But, um, yeah, so he goes into Absol. I'm just gonna go for the Fire Blast. Uh, he goes for the Stone Edge, which I don't understand because Night Slash is actually five base power higher with Stab, and the only thing on my team that resists it also resists Stone Edge. And Stone Edge also has the chance to miss, and they're both, you know, increased critical hit chance. So I'm guessing he doesn't have Night Slash. He probably has Sucker Punch, like Psycho Cut, Super Power, Stone Edge, because that damage, I think was uh, Choice Banded, if I recall um, from my calculations at the time. Um, here, I'm just like, whatever, maybe I'll live a Flamethrower, but I think it's like 100% KO from that range, so, you know, whatever. Um, you know, if I did live, then Earth Power kills him. But I'm going to go to Sock, because I'm Scarfed, and I know I outspeed Mortar, which I love Sock for. That's the main reason he's like my favorite Scarfer in NU, because he outspeeds Mortar, which is such a common Pokemon. Um, turns out he's not even Scarfed, he's actually Focus Sashed. Which uh, is why he was so ready to take a potential Earthquake on the first turn. But, um, yeah, now I'm just going to clean out his team. Uh, I wasn't so sure about being able to KO the Noctowl, but it would be an easy KO with uh, Stealth Rocks. I believe it's somewhere around like 90%. Um, if he's just, you know, straight max HP, max special defense. 
But, uh, yeah, I almost wanted to switch into Brave here. I figure, you know, I can take any hit and kill him with, like, a Choice Banded Brave Bird. But I'm like, eh, whatever. Just, just close combat, and it's easily going to kill, but if I die, it dies. Most Noctowls will only have Nightshade. I don't even think they get Brave Bird. Maybe Drill Pack. But, um, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. Like I said, you can't really kill me. So, um, yeah, that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was, uh... Pretty cool match. I liked that uh, I get to use a couple new sets. Again, I'm still using them. I still have tons I haven't used. Um, the camera up is a special rock polish. The Aluma Mola I also just made, but it's you know the same Aluma Mola set you see all the time. Uh, what else did I have that was new? Duskull. It's a pretty cool poke. Um, max both defenses, no HP. Well, 4 HP investment just because of pain split. Uh, so you can take hits as great as you possibly can in pain split and give them as little HP as you possibly can um i think that was it well the matang set's new too but yeah otherwise anyways i'm gonna stop rambling i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time